Hello, welcome, welcome back um, to our boxing blog, um, John's boxing blog, part three. And we've just been talking about all the training and the amateur days and the step up from Blockswich to Wensbury. And now we're just going into uh, as Mac, as you get a bit older, guys. And yeah, tell us a few stories from like when you're about 1920 now. Yeah. Some well, of the venues you visited. I got I got the squads like million squads and that went abroad, like I said. And then I, I knew I knew to to had to progress even more. So we had a, like a local uh, Peter Till. Peter Till was like kind of our local. He, he first turned professional back then. So I used, I used to go down. I used to go down to Crown Anchor uh, and train with train with them. Even I was training with went I was training with Wednesday, but just just to just to pick up my my my, my training to tra train with the professionals and the lads would come in. And I spar with the lads. All these all these different professionals come in just to keep mixing matching it all up. Was was a uh, was 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 tough. Was tough. Was tough. Like that, but uh, it it done me the world of good. It done me the world of good because when you know, when I, I, my fight was all, when I was fighting out, you know, my fight was a lot easier because I think because I, I was just I was I was, I was supremely fit. I was I was so fit. Uh, I was learning technique. I was learning a bit more, a bit more how to punch properly and all these things. Like so, and I was get too. I was getting noticed a little bit. I thought, you know what I mean, I was getting noticed, and. Uh, yeah, so it was uh, onwards and upwards it was. So you're about 19 now, so obviously the opponents are getting a lot tougher. Yeah. You, like, the fights are getting a lot tougher. Was you ever thinking about going pro or at that stage or still enjoying the amateur it scene? Was, yeah, it was It was just a natural progression. It was all to... I knew I had to turn pro. It was just, you know, uh, it gets, you, you got to get so far. You can't, you know what I mean? You know, you know your limits in, in amateur. You know you know where you're going to go. And, and then when you start thinking, well, they're gonna, you're gonna get paid, so. But I just love to be in the gym. I just love to be, you know, training. You know, you, you train two, three times a day when you're professional like that. I mean, I, I train twice a day. I train, I train, I run in the morning and I train at night time. That's you know what I mean. But I've I've been in camps all around the world, and we've done. You know, we'll we'll train three times a day, six days a week, for say two months, three months. Unbelievable, unbelievable. You know what I mean so. But that's that's, a, that's another level. It's another level of training. It's a, it's a, it's a it's another level that is. But uh, I say, and I was in, and uh, my best, the best kind of years I was eight, 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 you know, in book. And uh, I, I was, I was training the club. And uh, Terry says, you know, famous Terry, you bought on tonight, yeah. So, and, and I got stopped. I got twenty eight days, and I cut, and, and that was it. My, oh, my, my life just seemed to end. I thought, oh, I don't believe this. So I'm, I'm, I missed I missed the championships in '88, and uh, that was when I, so I thought that's let's turn pro now. I thought let's just uh, you know I'll be training with the professionals. Let's let's go down a few quid, and, uh, and that's what I did. I, I turned professional. You know, coming up to your first pro fight, was you ever nervous, thinking, "Oh my God, I've got so, this"? Yeah, I I had injury. I, I went to have me and come my first fight, so that that got scrapped. That got scrapped. So and. Uh, and so I, I'm obviously had my first fight, and uh, then uh, he's an old tell in, in Birmingham, like and that. But uh, it was just, you know, the, the, the kind of like the, the training was, a, it was just a harder training. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even say the opponents was, the opponents was not, was no, was nowhere near the, the class of opponents from like Wensby, not at all. But the, uh, you know, it was just, just tougher training, just. More hard, hard training. That's what it is. So, know. what age did you actually have your first professional fight? I was twenty-three. I was twenty-three. Oh. Yeah. So. And uh, where was your first pro fight at? It was at the uh, the Grand Hotel in in Brum. In Brum, yeah. And uh, Peter Buckley was on the Peter Buckley was on the show. Van Tiedens from here and he was on the show. Uh, there's a few like lads or friends who I knew who was on the show like that. Do you remember getting paid for your first show? Unbelievable, yeah. How much did you get? £250. £250. Was that a lot of money back then? <laughs> it really was. It, and it's nothing, was it, but I mean, I mean, we went for, we for, uh, we for uh, an engine. I'll pay for the engine, like that. Though. But it was, it was, it was, it was, that's the next step, wasn't it? That's the next, that was the next step. You know, now that's, you know, that was the next step. But it's, it's a complete, you know, you've got professional boxing, it's a, it's a business, you've got to wait around to get a fire and all this. It's, you know I mean? It's, it's a business, professional boxing, you know? And that's when you need a set of, you need, you need support, you need, 
a job for you because you, you 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 kind of you you got to say you've got to have a job to support you. I mean, because you couldn't you could never live with more with a boxing paycheck. Because uh, no. So you in your early years now going pro, did you still fight amateur as well as your first pro fight? No, no. Once, 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 once you saw him, that was it. You were all like amateur, you know. But then and then I boxed. And it was the end of the season. I went away. I went away and never came back. <laughs> I never came back. But, uh, no. So, uh, there were a lot of stories. He used to help train the lads at Wensbury yeah, as well. Yeah, I did try, you know, towards the end of the actually. Yeah, I, 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 I knew, and that's what I do now. I train now myself. You pick up, you pick up loads of stuff. And it, like, I, I've been lucky. I've been lucky being all around the world. And I've, I've been some, I've been around some top trainers, some top, top trainers, believe you me. And, uh, you know, not just not just conditioners because I can name loads of conditioners, but people at different levels, and I met different people at different different parts of time. And there was a different. I mean, uh, Jack Lindsay. Jack Lindsay was Billy Schwer. So you remember Billy Schwer? Yeah, Luton. He, he Luton, yeah, British champion, European champion, IBO champion. And he, I worked, I did, I did a British soul fight, and I did a world title fight with Billy. Two camps and uh, but Jack Lindsay, he was a he was then he was a, he was another level. He took me to another level. He did about different things like that. So about punching about. I mean, and, and they weren't really too good on angles like that, but it was just it was just about a better class of punching, better better training. You know what I mean? It was a. Uh, what sort of age did you move away from the Midlands then? Twenty three. Is that when you actually left? Yeah, twenty three. Yeah, twenty three. Yeah. So you left a good mark and a good standing on the Wednesday area, obviously. Oh, I love, I love, I love, I love. You know I mean, I would, I would never them days and them them no, days at Wednesday. They was there. Uh, they was great. I mean, I love. It's me. Blocks was my, was my club, but I knew to, if I wanted to progress, if I wanted to do anything in boxing, I knew I had to be around better class of people, better better class of boxers. And what? in in Wednesday there was. There was a different class of boxers in Wednesday. What's well, some of your fond, fondest memories before you moved away of training round here? It was just, it was just all meeting for the club, all meeting and uh, like saying meeting at the uh, doing, 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 doing the you know, up and down the, the banks and things like that. There was, but that's character building. That is, it's, I mean, oh, it was tough, honestly. But these lads at Wednesday, they was as fit as fit as could be. I mean, yeah, you couldn't have got any fitter people. No way, fighters, you could not. You could never, because these lads was they had talent, and they were super fit. They were super fit. They could fly. These lads, could, <laughs> they could fly. Honestly, they could fly. Do you want to name a few? Well, obviously, you know, AD and, and Jonah. I mean, I remember Jonah, and the, he would be like, Jonah would be in the middle of the day. Jonah shows it. He, he, you know, LSA show a technique and shows the shot, and Jonah did show the shot perfectly, perfectly show this shot. And uh, you, Lester, all these people, you know, some, some. Some the two brothers, the Lentons. And the endeavour. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I remember you going to the, the shows and you had the, you'd have the Rocky tune on all the time, blasting in his headphones and things like that. Oh, some great day, like some some great days, some great days. A bunch of jokers as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't we like in the gym? We we, we like, yeah. We had a loft day. Yeah. It was never it was never no seriousness. It was just like it was all it was all laughing as joke. But. Uh, but uh, yeah, the people's eyebrows off and feet. Yeah, there was like, just there was just. I had just, off there, guys. Right? <laughs> there was just not. Times, there was just good, decent lads. There was, you know what I mean? So there was boxing, pe boxing, boxing people. I mean, it's rare. You know, it's you know we used to with these boxing people. That I'm not, some of these lads, I haven't seen these lads for years and years. And years but it's just like I hadn't seen them yesterday. You know, you know that's how it is. And that's how boxing people are. You know I mean, we'll never like the. You're like your brothers, aren't they? Yeah. You know, you'll never forget. You'll... Did, did you tell him you was leaving, or he just one day gone? I, you know what? I probably just went. I, did, I just, I didn't plan to leave. I just went. I just, I just, I just planned to leave. And when was that thing? About about um about um uh, early nineties. Early nineties, yeah, yeah, yeah early nineties. I, I turned professional. Professional was like you've got really, truthfully, you're going backwards because the training was not, the, the training was was not was not great. And uh, you know, and Peter was doing his own thing. He went. He was going different. I just thought, you know what? I, went, I just went away for the season. I thought, let's let's get away for the season because all my life been boxing since been ten. All my life. I mean, so I thought, now let's 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 go and see someone. Let's go. Because truthfully, the plan was to go to Australia. That was the plan. 
I went away and I found a way to Australia because I, I knew there was a few boxers in Australia. Imagine, imagine all the Australians that, that love that love fighting all the English, wouldn't they? Yeah, all the yeah. pommies and that stuff. But I never got, I never got there. I went, I went away for uh, about ten months, and uh, I went to, I went to. I went away to Jersey for about ten months, and I went away to Southeast Asia for about three months. Travelled around there, and uh, I came back to England. Did you miss the lads of Wednesday once you'd gone? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah, it was just the camaraderie and, and of, of, of the atmosphere of, of the uh, of the of the club was unbelievable. And the bond as well, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Between us all, we all had a good bond, didn't we? Unbelievable. Here as well. But there was like I said, there was boxing people. You know what I mean, and then and then. And I just I went back to Jersey. I thought I'll just go back to Jersey, and my my life just took off in Jersey coaching and everything else. You know I mean, so I was, I was, you know, I I kind of had the second bite of the cherry when I went to, when I went to when I went to Jersey. Even though I wasn't competing myself because when you're kind of twenty three, it's kind of old for boxing kind of thing. You know, so uh, but you know, I started training, training, I started training the amateurs, and then that's where I went to the professionals and and other things up there. I think just learning to everything, everything else and everything. So, I was lucky. I was lucky. Uh, but like I said, you'll never, for, you'll never forget. You'll never forget these days. Never, never, never. We're so lucky. We're all lucky. We're part of each other. Uh, we were. We were on this journey, wasn't we, together? Yeah. Notice that we were all the Wednesday lads, Tip Turn, Roxwich, Warsaw. Everybody who boxed all the different clubs all knows each other, and everybody's got such a fantastic bond. It, it is really, it's respect you've all got for each other. Yeah, nobody amazing. was, nobody it talked bad about anybody. We all, we, you know what I mean? We all, we all knew each other, we all knew, you know what I mean? Like I said, we knew uh, certain lads in certain, like, like people like in, 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 in Wensbury and in Dudley, they were seriously, seriously talented people. Seriously talented, there was, honestly, honestly. Well, we're just going to take a short break and then we're going to come back for some of Gary Simpkins' amazing stories of after his amateur days and what he achieved in boxing. So get ready for a part three, folks. Don't forget, we'll be back in a couple of minutes.